Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too? That way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Uh. Hey, Reptile Rescue family members. I thought this might be a cool video because today is Sunday. It's snake feeding day. All the snakes ate today except Nagini. She just got done shedding. But, you know, I've said this before in the past. Sometimes it's always scary when you feed your snake um, the next size up meal. Okay? So, Soraya, being a boa constrictor, she is now... This is her first time getting an extra large rat. And I will shut up and let you guys watch her eat here shortly. But, to put in perspective... <sighs> This is quite a bit larger than the large rats she was getting. This is the size rat that I feed Zelda, who's significantly larger. But if you look, Sarai is getting pretty girthy. So she's getting an extra large rat. And with boas, boas really don't do really well with um, fatty, extra fatty prey. So extra large rats are really the largest size rat that's good for your boa before when they start getting like 2XL, 3XL, they, those rats are really, really fatty, and boas don't do good with that. So we're going to sit back and let her watch her eat this rat, even though she's got such a thin neck. Um, and you guys are going to see how she eats it.
What I got want you guys to look out for here is you can see her windpipe. So large snakes when they eat, and that's that red thing that was poking out of the bottom, they'll actually, um, and you can see it right there as her mouth is closing, they'll actually push their windpipe out. That way the prey that is so large and, you know, closes in on their whole throat doesn't suffocate them, which is really impressive. But yeah, look at that large meal. Look how thick she is right there. There's that big rat. Good job. Now, it's not abnormal once they eat a big prey like that. Sometimes they'll suck down um, a lot of water to help push it down once it gets situated. We can see what she'll probably do, though, is kind of stretch out because the rat is right there in the middle. It's, it's not going to want to make this bend very easily to get to, you know, her stomach where it needs to be to digest. So she'll, you know, curl up appropriately to allow that thing to, uh, there's the mass right there, to allow that thing to be able to get into a position nice and easy, which is really nice. But yeah, she'll let that get positioned, and then sometimes you'll see large stakes really gulp down water. Um, ball pythons tend to do that a lot, actually. What I've noticed is really slurp down the water after a large meal. Uh, yeah, but thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you found this entertaining. She, uh, she's very full, but if you look here, again, here's the prey. It looks expanded, but you want to feed something that's about 50% larger than the widest part of the snake's body at a maximum. If you look up here where the stomach actually is, that's pretty fat. That looks almost like that, and that doesn't have the snake, the, the rat in it yet. So she is 100% good. It's just scary because look how fat that area is, and look how thin her face is, and how thin her neck is right there. So, you know, although I've been doing this for many years, when you feed a larger prey to your snake for the first time, whether it's a pig, a rabbit. If you care about your animals, you sit there and you're like, okay, now I need to watch her and make sure she can eat it correctly. Uh, it wouldn't be abnormal also for your snake to act a little bit uncomfortable after they've eaten a larger prey for the first time the next maybe 24 hours. Because it's big, they could get bloated, there could be a lot of gas. Uh, but that's all normal stuff that should happen. So um, you just want to keep an eye on them, and that's all I'm going to do. She's Like I said, she's just getting comfortable because that thing needs to slide. It's right about here right now, um, which is right about where her stomach actually is. So she just wanted to help get it in the right spot, and it, it wasn't going to do all these zigzags to get to her stomach. And oh, she may even go for some of that water now just to help st stimulate the... Uh, and help the digestive process stimulate the start of it and also help that... Uh, that prey digest. Thanks for watching everybody. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.